they lie or do not lie on a straight line? Which one is it? Lie. They lie on a straight line that goes or does not go through the origin? It goes through the origin. So because of that, because it's on a straight line and it goes through the origin, bam, it does show a proportional relationship. So make sure you're circling those different words just so you have an idea. Is that clear for everyone, hopefully? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to add something else to this. Part of your target that I showed, that I kept going back to the screen for, part of it says take the information and turn it into an equation. So I'm just automatically going to turn this into an equation for you guys right now so you can see the concept. What is the con what is the constant of proportionality between these numbers? Uh, every it's what is it? It's twenty per one. Twenty, yeah. right? For every one, you get twenty. So it's like twenty over one. That's your k. Now, how do I take this and turn this into uh, what we call an equation? Y is equal to k x. That's our constant of proportionality equation. You simply plug in. First, you can say y is equal to our k is 20. And 20 over 1 is the same as 20, 20x. Let's see if this equation is true. Whatever I plug in for x, will that give me my y? Yes. If I plug in 1, if I get one correct answer, times it by my constant, will that give me my point, which is my y? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go to four. I, I, I have four questions correct. I get 20 points per question. That's my constant of proportionality. I should get 80 points in total. Capish? Wait, so y is always going to be the unit, right? Like the, the, like the one... Yes. Well, not necessarily. Y is going to be your um, your in your dependent variable. It's the one that depends on what happens to your x. But I'll go. I'll get into that in a moment. Give me one second. So, Miss Romeo, we're we're starting to pack up now. Oh. All right. I'll see you guys. Oh, by the way, those of you packing up. Um, if you believe in the holiday, have a great holiday. If you don't, like myself, I don't, enjoy your weekend. Make Thank sure you, Ms. Romeo. Study, Bye. study, study. Do your homework, please. And there's a possibility I'm going to push your test back to Wednesday instead of Monday. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay. So those of you still here, don't, don't, don't you leave. Aw. Aw, whatever. Don't go anywhere. Any questions about this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you were well, asking me if you're, what, what did you say? I was asking you about like the y equals kx. I don't really get, I don't really get. Oh, I just threw that in here. We're going to dig a little deeper with two other problems in a moment. But y equals kx is your, what we call your constant of proportionality, right? Mm-hmm. It, y represents your dependent variable. Because whatever hap whatever you take, whatever you do with k and you multiply it by your x, which is your independent variable, that's how you will know what y is equal to. So y depends on whatever happens between k and x. Does that make oh, sense? Oh, okay, okay. So something has to happen between k and x first in order for us to know what will happen for y. That's why y is very dependent on x. Okay. Okay, so far so good? Yeah. Like, look, look at this table. These points, the, you, you don't, the points don't happen and then you get the correct answers. You have to get the correct answers first in order for you to get your points. Get my point? Mm, kind of. Okay. Say so for you. Go ahead. The formula is y equals kx. Right. Or, if you already know your k, which I showed you guys in the video, say, for example, you are, you're trying to figure out what 
um, K, if you don't know K, you can divide by X on both sides, which is like an equation, and K is equal to your Y over your X. Well, let's take a look at this example. So pretend we didn't know this was our K, right? How would I figure it out? K is equal to my Y over my X. What is K equal to? 20. Okay, I get it a little more. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right, let's try yeah. the, Let's do this one. K, which we don't know, is mm -hmm. equal to my Y, 80, over my X, 4. What's 80 over 4? 20. 20. So that's how you know K is your constant of proportionality. Oh. Okay, which is basically you finding the unit rate. Because what did I just do here with 80 over 4? I found the unit rate. I took my denominator, divided it, in, divided it into my numerator, and I got my 20. That is my unit rate. Okay. Hopefully that helped. Yeah. But like I said, we have a couple more problems that we'll tackle on Monday that will um, hopefully clarify it a lot more. This one I just wanted you guys to see. Just by looking at a graph, can you determine if it is a proportional relationship? And you guys were able to do that one. Okay, what time is it? Is it time for y'all to go? Uh, I think we have like three minutes left. Three minutes. So because we have three minutes, I want you guys to go ahead and work on slide 22 on your own. Right here is a, um, a flow chart, but I think you guys get the point. If you're looking at a graph and you realize it has a straight line and it goes through the origin, what do you already know? It's proportional. It's proportional. What if it has a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin? What do you know? It's not, it's not proportional. Okay. What if it goes through the origin, but the line is curved? What do you know? It's also not proportional. That's it. So go ahead and do numbers one, two, and three. Tell me what you come up with. You've just circled the correct answers on the side. Go for it. And if class kick will allow me, I will, of course, take a sneak peek and see what you guys are up to. Hopefully it works. No, and it's just loading, loading, loading. All right, so class kick is not being very friendly with Miss Romeo today. Does anyone want to unmute and share with me what you came up with? For the first one, uh -huh. um, so I labeled yeah one and zero, um, three and four, and five and eight. And did you label, wait, did you label your axes axes as well? Axes, yes. You should. X and Y. Make sure you do that. Okay, go. Talk to me. Um, so um I thought I saw so I put the line through it. And y'all gonna make fun of my line. Don't make fun of my line. Well. So I checked it to so question, do the points lie on on a straight line? And then, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. And then, next question, does the line pass through the origin? And then, it doesn't pass through the origin. So, if it doesn't, what's your final answer? What's your final answer? Not proportional. Do we agree, guys? I agree. Yeah. Very good. I agree. I had another class that told me, Ms. Romeo, it went through the origin. It's going through the origin. I'm like, it doesn't. Maybe it's the way I drew it. I don't know. I have no idea. But it is 3 o'clock. You guys had your practice. Um, tell me what you found out for number 
two and number three. Just let me know what the answer is. What do you guys think? Number two, I got proportional. It was proportional. I need confirmation from my other detectives. Yeah, it's proportional. Yeah, she said. What makes it proportional? Give me the two things. It was a straight line and it went through the origin. Ding, ding, ding. And last but not least, number three. Not proportional. Ooh, why not? Because it didn't go to the Yeah, it was. It didn't go to the origin. Was it a straight line? Yes. But yeah. it didn't go through the origin. Awesome, awesome job. Boys and girls, your home learning is on Friday's tab. Make sure you click on Friday in Canvas. Get it done. Your test, I will push the test back to Wednesday. There's no school Tuesday. That's why I'm saying Wednesday. Because I want to finish this before we take the test. Capiche? Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Those of you who believe or enjoy the holiday, that's on you. Enjoy your holiday. The rest of us, enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys back on Monday. Bye.